Hi, welcome back to my bedroom and another great instalment of a bit of exercise, a bit of workout with Michael Gary. Hi, Michael. <laughs> so today we are going to focus on legs and bums. Um, before, you're obviously welcome to watch this. This is me, this is my workout. So if you want to join along with me, that's great, but please seek medical advice if you've got any condition um, or if you've been feeling unwell, please don't do this. Please use common sense. This is really just me sharing what I do to give you some ideas. And what I've done, first of all, is I've done a little bit of a warm up, five, 10 minutes of just kind of, you know, stretching and stuff like that, just to get my body activated. So Michael, we're kind of ready to go, aren't we? With a squat. Okay, so we'll, 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 we'll yep. Yeah. So all you need for this is a wall and a chair. So hopefully everybody has that. Okay, a wall and a chair. That's all you need. And I put my chair against the wall, so that's giving it stability, so it doesn't um, doesn't topple over because it's behind something. Got something behind it. And the reason that we're going to be working on um, legs and bums. Is it's kind of to tone up the backside, but it's a bit more than that, isn't it? Oh yes, it's, you're working the large muscle, the larger muscles of the body, which um, will help to speed up your metabolism and reduce your body fat. So this is something that we talked about on Instagram before, and it's a really important point before I start, is that by working here, these massive muscles, we're actually going to be taking fat from our tummies and our waist. So if you want a smaller waist and to get rid of the old muffin top, Actually, working here is going to grab fat from up here, well, isn't up, it? We're just going to reduce the fat because you're going to build more lean tissue. So it's going to speed up your metabolism so that you burn fat much quicker. That's what we want. Okay, let's go. So squats. Yeah? Like, like this? Touch this where the line is. You see the line just there? Little okay, bit come forward. Place. Okay. Okay, and um, hand by your side, please. And um, run. Good. And up to your shoulder higher again. I mean that's fine, but yeah, good. Okay. Much better. Try and get a little bit lower. Lower. We want to try and get 90 degrees on this. Okay, the good. lower you go, the harder it is. Try and squeeze your glutes as you go down. That's this a... activates the glutes more. Good. Oh yeah, Great. I can feel that. I think that's about 10. How do you feel this? Yeah, I mean it's it's hard, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I am not gonna lie. Okay, um, relax when you do a set of 10. Okay, well, I've probably done about 15, so. Ooh, so you could do these in blocks of 10 and then repeat if you want. Yeah, you can, do, you can add weights or you can add dumbbells. Oh, okay, I have dumbbells. I have my little dumbbells. So you, you could increase the intensity then. Yeah, so you'd just be holding those straight out, would you? By your side, Liz. By my side, okay. By your side, that's good. Yep. Your head facing towards the ceiling, so you're looking up at the ceiling. Excellent. Okay. Tension your back. Well done. And okay. relax. Good. Okay, that's enough of the dumbbells. Put those down. Okay, what now? Well, we're going to go to a little bit more of an advanced one. This is uh, the Bulgarian split squat. The Bulgarian the most split squat. The thing about this is getting into the correct position. Okay. What about balance? So, from what I remember, I have to put one foot that's in front. Yeah? yeah, this is this is the, the tricky leg. bit. Is the other leg has to go up here? Whoa. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right. Do my arms go up? Yeah, I mean, you can put them over your head. I mean, your, your, your core is pretty strong, so you can go right down. Okay. What you need to do is try and get ninety degrees. Oh. 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 It's a lot harder. It's much more, that's much more resistance. So if you want to change legs, just try the other side. Yeah. So you kind of build this up, would you? You'd start with, yeah, I don't know, I three or four. This, this is what I want to begin with doing at first. You, you build it up, and then from squats, and then you do lunges, and then eventually, as you become stronger, you can add this one in. 
this, I have to tell you, it is powerful. Ah, oh, okay. I'm not going to do that right now. Good. Excellent. Whoa, my thighs have gone all wobbly, <laughs> but for a good reason. Okay, now okay. what? Like to stretch your quads from mid touch your toes. Just take any stress out of your arm back. Okay. You don't have to hold it for long. It's just that you just don't want to create any tightness in the muscle, so you might get an injury moving from one exercise to the other. Okay. Long as time, this keeps you pretty flexible. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed actually working out with you is that you do make me all the time say, right, you know, touch your toes, okay, take a moment. Way, throughout your workout. Yeah, stay stretching, move a little bit. Just whatever feels good, really. Okay, okay. yep. Right. Now we're going to go into the simplest exercise of all, which is the step ups. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, simple, but hard. Right, this is where we have the old chair against the wall. Okay, so literally just stepping up, yep. Okay, stepping up, alternating if you can, because what you want to do is you want to work with your coordination at the same time. Perfect, good. Am I doing the right thing with my arms? Yeah, your arms are fine. I mean, there's, there's so many different things you can do with the arm, but at the moment we're just focusing on the legs, the leg part of the step up. To making sure that your heel is flat to the chair. Keeping your abs in. Good. And this is great if you want to become a faster, stronger, more efficient runner. It also burns calories. Obviously because it's work, work in the larger muscle groups. Speeds up your metabolism. And um, this is the best exercise for working your glutes. Those bum muscles. Really? We've all got a step, haven't we? We've all got a step in the house. We've all got a chair. Yeah, we've all got a chair. As you can see, you're looking at the individual leg. I mean, that's way, way above 90 degrees. So yeah. You're driving from the one leg, all your body weight. Well done, this. That's fine. It's fantastic. Good work. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. I love it when he says perfect. <laughs> Okay, so we've done squats, Bulgarian split squats, step ups. Have we got one more? I think we'll finish with a static lunge. Okay. This also, this also focuses on individual leg strength. Okay, so arms in the air, I think, for this. And all these exercises work the core as well, so it's important. Is that, yeah? Is this right? Again, you can do this anywhere. Excellent. You can do you this. Yeah. I mean, when we're out in the park together, we, we walk, don't we, doing this? So you'll have me kind of walk for like 20. Which you look really daft in the park doing this. It's like the Ministry of Silly Walks. But in the comfort of your own home, you can do it anyway. Do it in the bathroom. No one has to see you do this. Oh, um, I can feel this in my knees. Should we be avoiding okay. this? Relax now. You need to stretch your if you can. Okay. If you've got dodgy knees, do you avoid the lunge? Yes, you do. Okay. Well, if you've got dodgy knees, be careful. Be careful anyway. Um, make sure that you're able to squat in the first place. Fine. Yep, of course. Be guided by how your body feels. Be guided by your own if medical history. Any pain, stop, okay? Any the last pain. thing you want is an injury because that's going to 
affect your consistency. Yeah. Number one thing is to remain consistent with exercise. You don't want to get That's injured. Injury is boring. It stops you from doing other stuff. So, baby steps, one well, at a time. The Who's... greatest byproduct of all of these exercises is that your genes look amazing. Genes look amazing. Let's hope. Talk to me about growth hormone. That was oh, squats. Yeah, this is a really interesting thing. So before we go, just a couple of words from you, Michael, about the squats. It's, 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 um, it builds human growth hormone, HDH, which is what we lose when we get older. So the more squats you do, you're keeping on to your HDH, your human growth hormone, which is actually anti-aging. So it's going to actually give you a youthful appearance. And it's also going to create more lean tissue throughout the body. Amazing. I'm going to leave you guys with that thought. This is what they say. Look it up. Squats are the ones for Good. producing that young growth hormone. So I'm going to carry on doing this. I'm going to say goodbye. Leave me messages. Leave me comments. I'm going to get Michael back chatting with us on Instagram. Thank you, Michael. You're a star. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you soon. Join me. Do Thank this. Bye -bye. Do this. <laughs>